I think that would hurt more. If you go to AI, you're like, fix the things you think are wrong, and then they just make a different person. <laughs> Well, first of all, let's knock off about those 65 pounds that are unnecessary. <laughs> Moderately weighed over some? <laughs> I'm not a doctor. Well, I thought you were a doctor. Oops. Scissor Brothers! Check, check, check. Okay. Are we recording? Keep going, Dr. Phil. Are we good? Keep going, Dr. Phil. Okay, whenever, whenever. No, you... Chimichanga, Chimichanga, Jenga, Lubega. <laughs> Chimichanga, Chimichanga, Lubega, Sega. Chimichanga, Chimichanga. I think we got the Jenga, Lubega, Sega. That's my vocal warm up. Okay. okay Want to hear my, my vocal warm up from middle school? F that noise. Bring the funk. Who let the dogs out? 9 11 was an inside job. We'll be right back. <laughs> Is it cool if I play Tracy Chapman? And absolutely not. You can do whatever right. you want. No, no, that's copyrighted stuff. We can't. Oh, do we it. can't. But the floor is his. Are you telling? Oh, you're right. Okay. okay. Whenever you're ready to get into this, Doctor Phil, we're ready. Yeah, yeah Doctor Phil. Thanks for coming back. First off, what's that? I said thank you for yeah, I get coming it. back. Yeah. It's good to see you, Gerald, Terrence, Jeremiah, Steve, mm -hmm. Ryan. Ryan. Well, I know that. Ryan, what's your last name? Armandaris. Did you call me? I called you an Armandaris. I haven't been called that since I served in Nam. We're bringing it well, back. Since I served in Nam, I should preface in Call of Duty. <laughs> you're right, Steve? Yeah, I'm just happy you're back. Because it looked like you just had a, a cum face. No, that's not my cum face. Which was Ryan's nickname in fifth grade, right? Yep. I read your blogs. Are we going? Yeah, yeah, yeah we've, we've, we've been, been going. going. Guys, welcome back to Scissor Bros episode. Major right, Gerald? You got yeah. it, homie. Gerald and I uh, recently got back from Cabo San Lucas, where we stayed at the Las Ventanas Resort. A lot of people are afraid to travel with a giraffe, let alone a creature from God's green earth. But I'm a fearless individual. Uh, I might not, you know, uh, see color, but I do see creature. And I, and I understand that, yeah, bringing an animal on a plane is a big deal. Well, suck my ass and bite my wiener, Deb, the flight attendant on Spirit Airlines. You said that giraffe is not an emotional support animal, is it? I said, do you watch my show? Do you read my blogs? You know, go fuck yourself. And that's when I was escorted off the plane, and Gerald and I took a bus from L.A. to Cabo. That story's for another pod. Today is all about regret, but it's also about choices. And we go through life making choices. They're here, they're there, they're everywhere. Uh, you can't use a dildo as a butt plug unless you got a coupon and you're in Pakistan. I'll t get into that a little bit later. Today's show, Scissor Bros. Of course, you know you know the the players, and I'm the game. Please say hello to Jeremiah Watkins and Steve Mimi. Hey, hey, Dr. Phil, it's good to have you back. It's good to have you. It's great to see you guys again, and I appreciate the uh, the invite, but I also uh, depreciate the lack of enthusiasm on Steve's end. Steve? I'm happy you're here. Well, but you didn't know I was coming. Who no, said I that? Th they left that as a surprise. Well, who said I? they didn't see that coming? Uh, it's a p old porn from the 80s. Today's Fart Mike is brought to you by HelloFresh. Are you looking for an, a cheaper way to avoid the grocery store? Now, Steve is probably my favorite Korean uh, in North America, and I don't say that often. You know, I I definitely, I've had my fair share of run-ins with uh, Asian people, uh, particularly uh, at baseball games, you know, fighting over hot dog meats. But... Look, I'm glad to be back because you guys, you guys are killing it. It's my 
favorite podcast. You know, I've said that before. I uh, I did really enjoy uh, Rick Glassman's Take Your Shoes Off, but then I saw him in uh, – what's his name? Uh, Bug-Eyed. He looks like one of the Looney Tunes. Eric Griffin. Oh, yeah. 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 He, looks like, he looks like one of the – if one of the weasels from Who Framed Roger Rabbit grew into a person. <laughs> and so I watched those two knuckle fucks try to compete and mm-hmm. and and stay in the game with you two on the hundredth episode. But 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 you can't make fun of people with uh, with pig Latin stutters. But is that why they call pig Latin? <laughs> it's from Porky Pig. Is Porky Pig Latin? Hey, let's hey. Someone get Drew Lynch on the phone. <laughs> Doctor Phil, I love Drew Lynch, and he knows that. But fill in the blank. Did you mean to say fill in the blank with your own name? I did. Okay. I made a Drew Lynch joke so I could alley it myself to say fill in the game because fill in the game will put up a little graphic as my new memoir coming out in a couple months. I don't want to press it too much on you because today's about you two, but we'll put up a link to buy it. I think it's going to be at Barnes & Noble or in the back of my trunk. So, guys, how's life been going? Well, Dr. Phil, one of the reasons why – I called you on an emergency invitation and without Steve knowing is um, I've been having some some flare-ups lately and I've uh, I've had a, a couple Pain of, awards? N- no, like like with anger like HPV? No, like 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 uh, like a red zone. Syphilis. Well, I mean technically a red zone could It's I'm like, not a doctor. Well, I thought you were a doctor. Oops. <laughs> I mean, uh, for that stuff. Okay, a different yeah, kind of doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, come um, on, man. I don't have. Hey, uh, for our listeners and viewers, um, you know, it's 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 Steve's coin term, uh, the red you zone. Fart, you just farted, huh? No. Oh, it smells like shit, dude. Hey, that's on me. Okay. SBD, silent but deadly. <laughs> but he, hey, he snapped on me. For doing what? Uh me and Ryan just presented the challenge, and he lost his mind. Now break down what Jeremiah losing his mind looks like because we've he, all he uh, literally did like he's like you don't listen, you don't listen at all, you know information goes in one ear and right out the other. Wait wait let me try that. You don't listen. You don't even know. You don't even know. That's what I just wait, what saw. What was the yo, yo, dad? You did a little Chinese. <laughs> no, don't you try to suck me in. I did not do that again. I did not do that again. You went yo 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 again. You did it again, dude. You did it again. Why did you do that? I will not be butchered and chop sueyed into your fucking. You just went. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Hey, easy Street Fighter. Okay. There's only one. There's only <laughs> one E Honda, and his name is E Honda. Okay, okay. okay. I will not be fucking wrangle wrangled and juju beat into your circle of trust. But do that again. Do that again. Try to. I, here's what I saw from you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, that's actually not what I saw. And I, as I did it for the second time, it felt more racist. Now, what does a Jeremiah flare-up look like? Well, I, want to hear, I want to hear it from Jeremiah's point of view and from Steve's vantage point. I, I lost my cool in, entirely. I, it's pretty freaking rare for me so to... So you were just hot eats treats. If you were Dairy Queen, you lose the cool, you're hot eats treats. Yeah, yeah, I was hot eats treats. You were hot eats treats on these streets. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hot eats. You lost your cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Put that in a rap song and suck your own dick. <laughs> we'll be right back. Do you suffer from anger and live near the following cities? Aspen, Colorado, Phoenix, Arizona, Bakersfield, California, Fort Worth, and Dallas, Texas, Detroit, Michigan, Los Angeles, California, Tacoma, Washington, and Winnipeg. Stand up comedy is the cure, and Jeremiah Watkins is your guy. Get tickets at JeremiahWatkins.com to cure your anger issues today. Now, guys, before the commercial break, we were talking about flare-ups. Not the sexual kind. Not the kind that Steve has when he takes too many melatonin gummies. Yeah, I, I fucking, hey. You don't know I've been on Citizen's about, app. Man. I've been on Citizen's app, and I got these alerts. Bloop, hey, there's a Korean in a tree holding a katana. Dude, screaming! He knows about your machete. You have a machete? Yeah, you, I do. I do. I do. Really my bed. I do my you bed. really have a machete? Yeah, I do. Oh, welcome back to who gives a fuck? 
Hey, man. I'm sorry, that came out. See, we See, all have flare-ups. That's what I would consider See, a flare-up, Dr. Phil. That's a perfect that example. It. You just did it. Now, kind of unprovoked, unprovoked a little bit. But and the bubbling blood came up too high, and I was either going to vomit uh, blood or I was going to scream at my friend. And, Jeremiah, it sounds like that's what you did. Yeah. Uh-huh. God damn it. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I, I lost my cool on, uh, on Steve, and uh, I apologize, but, you know. I still feel bad about it, and I figured That's we okay. should call you in and uh, maybe see, get to the bottom of why this is going on because it happened again last night at the comedy store. Well, we sh- well, Steve knows everything about getting to the bottom of it. Bing. We'll put in a ding sound when I do that. Can I tell you an honest phone call that I had with my mom today? No, I'm good. Now, guys, there's got to be something to be said about. Uh, <laughs> yeah, please. Hey, <laughs> I want, hey, hey, I'm sorry. I did it for the joke, man. What do you got? What's mom up to? What's Mrs. Watkins doing well, in she, KC? Well, she called, and out of the blue, I swear, I did not even say anything about this. She's, <laughs> I promise you, I, I can't I, wait this. This was completely unprovoked. She goes, Dude, think about what you're about to say. Like, I think I know what you're about to say. <laughs> I, think you have, I think you have no yeah. idea what I'm about All to right, say. All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. She goes, she goes, you know, if Steve is by, I'm okay with it, and he should just let everyone know. What? I'm wow. Not, Dr. Phil, I'm not gay. <laughs> well, not with that attitude. <laughs> I'm not gay, bro. Well, that's what everyone I know who's gay says. I'm not. Exit only. Hey, exit only. Hey, hey I ain't gay. My favorite gay friend, Gary, talks just like that. Hey, I ain't gay. Hey, gay, hey, gay. Hey, hey. We call him Video Game Gary because he sounds like the the sound of a, of a Nintendo when the cartridge gets stuck. Yeah. Hey, hey. Did I sound like that? I don't know. I, I think seriously have a phobia of things going up my butt. Me too. And I think that's what we connected over in that Craigslist forum, what, circa 1998 when I first met you, unbeknownst to me. You know, I just saw No Butt Stuff 69 at Yahoo, and I was like, who's this fine gentleman? Turns out, Steve Wiebe. Here we are, live in the flesh. Speaking of flesh, your mom might be onto something, but... Your mom also might be way off. And that's for Steve to discover. We call that, say it with me, that's a Steve, Steve discovery. discovery. And for Steve to figure out what he wants or doesn't want, you know, he's going to have to travel the world a little bit more. Right, Gerald? Yeah. Dr. Oh. Phil ate Fruit Loops out of his <laughs> stripper's yeah. butthole. Keep your mouth shut, though, about oh, that. I told you to keep that. that but I think you should be fucking proud of it. Okay. You're savage, man. Okay, I'll post the pic. <laughs> Jeremiah, anger comes from all different sizes of our body. All different parts, all different quadrants you know do you know there's six different ways uh to make the clit ejaculate are you sure i don't know i read it in a highlights magazine but i think there can be a way for people to control the red zone territory you can get there on your own that's fine but what you do inside the red zone is what really is going to pay dividends down the road so 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 you yelled at steve for doing what well I think the re there. I think there was obviously there was more stuff going on behind the immediate blow up. Uh huh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get a Postmates. Um, Great. No, they're bringing me a broccoli cheddar soup from Panera. Okay. Is it, Which, is it the bread bowl? It fucking better be, and this is a great question because speaking of flare ups, the last time I ordered a bread bowl, it came sans bread, just the soup, on a plate. And um, I don't want to say I killed a Panera employee, but he ain't going to be able to have babies anytime soon if you catch my drift. Wink, wink. Yeah. Um, so I th- I felt like like I th- I think why I blew up on Steve is um, we were uh, we I felt like we had just had like a really good like conversation about how we were going to try to start shifting the challenges like in a a more positive way where we weren't like kind of like hurting ourselves or yep. like where we weren't dreading the challenges and stuff like that. Yep. And uh, then he presented the challenge and it Which was, was so we, we presented the challenge. That's there's, there's two. Cause oh, Ryan, your producer. Yeah. Let me, let me just add to whatever he's saying. It was Ryan. It was initially Ryan's idea. And I just agreed with it. And I, Ryan, can you can you at least uh, defend me? Because I said, hey, can we do something a little different? Because Jeremiah did something nice for me the previous week. Right, Ryan? Yeah, but the resistance when I brought up the challenge was not much. But he did bring it up initially that it was like 
he wanted to take it easy. And the challenge was what? Rocky Balboa egg yolk, just drinking egg yolks. As many as you can. As many as oh, you can. Oh, and Steve didn't want to do it. No, I did it. Oh, you I, didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. And so you flipped out. I flipped mm-hmm. out. Do you remember what it felt like to flip out in front of your friend? Put a pin in that. Do you remember what it felt like to come out of your mom? Put a pin in that. Do you remember the Titans? Yeah, it's one of my favorite movies. It's one of my favorite movies. Let's go back to the second question. When you came out of your mom, what did you think egg yolk tasted like? I hadn't had raw egg yolk up to that point because I was a baby. Because I was a baby, yeah. Yeah. So Mm -hmm. now cut to 30 what? What are you, 32? 34, yeah. You look good. Thanks. That stash is coming in a little... A little too strong for my taste. I thought you would like it. Well, here's what I'll say about that. You got hair, too. If you got hair in a stash, you better have some cash because you work at a firework stand. Who said that? Tony Robbins. But I paid him for the quote, so now I own it. The same way Bieber bought the Beatles music or Michael Jackson's or Mm -hmm. Taylor Swift's or Elton. I don't know. Yeah, see, Steve's like, yeah, I'm, as a gay guy, I know all those oh, artists. Dude, I'm not, though. I really For sure. Not. And I'm I believe not. you. Yeah. But no, I do. Think you're gay? No, I do. Cherish you. Who sang that? 98, 98 degrees. degrees. Jinx, you owe me a Coke. Jeremiah, I like the stash. Let me take it back. I think that you're in control of your choices, and sometimes you get out of control of your choices, and that's why you freak out about egg yolk. No one wants to drink that shit mm-hmm. unless you're getting paid. Or you're sponsored by a fucking chicken. Now, I think there can be challenges in life and on the Scissor Bros podcast. Hey. Where you... Was that the home improvement <laughs> grown at the, the end? I think it was either that or the Macarena. Oh, okay. okay. Doesn't he do something at the end of the Macarena? I mean, the guy's like, hey, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Whoop, easy with that accent. Hey, Macarena, hi, Macarena, yeah, Macarena. Yeah. Hey, Macarena, Macarena, Macarena. Is it, do you prefer that, Dr. I Bro? do, I do. I don't get uncomfortable with uh, with an accent unless it's done by, like, well, let's do a quick exercise. Talk about challenges. Steve, what do you think a Jamaican guy sounds like? Hey, how about this? A Jamaican guy at Subway ordering a chicken Caesar wrap. P.S. They don't sell those. Bum, glab, bum, 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 bum. Is this him ordering or him just orchestrating a be- gangbang? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. You committed, and I appreciate that. <laughs> now, it also <laughs> sounded like you were a ferret getting run over by a diesel truck. That's fair enough. That's <laughs> yeah. fair to say. Well, I think it yeah. is, but I appreciate the attempt. So, okay, okay one accent down. Jeremiah, okay. give me a, a German guy. Okay. Because the stash is a little German. Okay. I don't want to say it's Hitler-esque because Hitler kept it high and tight, right? Right. Yeah, He well, he definitely kept it right. Whoa. Too soon? Yeah. Really? Take it easy there. On Hitler? Well, just that... Co- <laughs> no, I mean, you, you, it seemed like you I mean, pick a, pick a side, Steve, no, I'm just saying, real you, quick. It seemed like you were defending him a little bit. Oh, did it? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what it was wait, like. Wait, you, don't, I'll tell don't, you, what you look like you're about to fight. I don't want to <laughs> yeah. fight you, man. Well, you're getting my blood bubbling. Okay, I'm so sorry. I apologize. I took an X-lax and a Viagra, I told you, 15 minutes before this podcast Fair started. Enough. Fair enough. Because I got low blood pressure and my doctor recommended it. Yeah, doctors have doctors. Google it. Jeremiah, give me a German guy being surprised at a surprise party with a trick candle on a easy, cake. Easy, easy. Oh, wow. The candle keeps relighting itself, even though it blew it out. <sighs> it came back again. Is this some kind of practical joke on me? Now give me that German guy as Jeremiah, knowing that he didn't want to drink the yolk. It's like every time I talk to you, it's one in, one the other, at the other. Are you not listening to anything I'm saying to you? Powerful stuff. Powerful stuff. That's what we call a breakthrough. See, if you're holding hands on one knee, you can climb a tree together and fight, I don't know, Captain Planet. <laughs> I forgot how the saying goes. You guys have something strong. Which is your favorite Captain Planet? Planeteer? Planeteer. 
Oh, man. Well, you got Earth, Wind. I know who Steve's favorite was, Heart, because you fucking look like him. We'll put up an image side by side of Steve and the <laughs> dude, little Indian boy. Does. Yeah. I think he's Indian or Norwegian dude, or dude, dude, Korean. Dude, Korean. <clears throat> dude. There's something about Captain Planet's friends that all of our friends, like everyone's got a, the, the way that you pick your favorite Ninja Turtle, you pick your favorite Planeteer. Wind was, I think, the hot OnlyFans girl. Water, I think, was, I want to say, like, some sort of, like, McDonald's drive through employee uh, from Rancho Cucamonga. They all had a, a little bit of downs, but the heart kid, he was always, like, 12, and the rest of them were, like, 30. Dr. I do remember that. Dr. Phil, what are you talking about? <laughs> what am I talking about? Yeah. Captain Planet. I thought you had questions for us about... Oh, I'm sorry. Our, yeah. I'm sorry I can't ease into your bullshit with my own thoughts and feelings. And this is, Steve, what I'm getting at. Captain Planet was all about helping the world. Okay. And you push an egg yolk on your friend is only helping yourself. You really he won the the whole contest. He won actually. I threw hey, it up. Oy, oy, oy. There it is Sorry. again. The oi oi oi. I did it again. The oi oi oi. Yeah, uh, every Everything time I do it. Everything is good. You're doing, but when you do that, that triggers I know. Well, me, man. I think the it's oy, this oy, that oy. I did that really. Please yeah. don't do that. I came in with some sort of ninja kung fu. Did some karate move. chops. Yeah. yeah. What? He did karate job. Why are you about looking this? at me? How about this? Wait, 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 don't get up. To, to, every time I disagree with you, you don't have to look like you're going to put the notebook down and fight me, man. Well, you I'll never me. put the notebook down and I'll never turn the notebook off because Ryan Gosling is the one guy, Steve, say it with me as a gay guy, I would fuck. Okay, you can he's, just think he it. Is he, he is handsome. He is handsome. Yeah, he is. Jeremiah, you were going to say something. Oh, I was just going to say, do you dress down more and more every time you come on the show? Last time you were wearing yeah, mismatched sh shocks, shocks, and then now you're wearing sandals and, and painted toes? Yeah. Paint, Look. Is, did here, hold the, it up to the yeah, camera real quick. you paint your toes, Dr. Phil? Oh. Whoa. Oh, they're hideous. <laughs> oh, sorry, I Gerald, mean, but... I know you've been this close to a toe before. Don't lie to me. I've sucked off worse things. That's what I thought. I now, I only know. painted my toenails because it was a double dog dare. We've all been through those. You get a friend close to the heart tugging at those strings. Mm -hmm. I double dog dare you to X, Y, Z. And then, you know, next thing you know, you know, you're flipped around with your ankles in the air and you're trying to recite the Pledge of Allegiance while someone's putting something inside of you that you didn't think could fit, but it did. I think that if you paint your toes, you're secure. If you don't paint your toes, you're not insecure, but you're not DFW. Say it with me, down for whatever. Oh, I thought it was Dallas-Fort Worth. Down for... It used to be, but times are changing, Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And times are also exciting because we've got two people here that, that, look, they know each other, but they really don't. And that's what friendship's all about, discovering, uncovering, and hovering. Say that ten times fast, I'll buy you a lollipop. Discovering, uncovering, hovering, 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 discovering, uncovering. All right, I'm gonna have to rain check you out my wallet. In the car. Discovering, uncovering, hovering. God damn, I thought that was a tougher tongue twister. Say that, tougher tongue twister. 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 All right, why don't you go fix somebody's fucking carburetor? You, you look like my mechanic. That's what I meant by that. All right, I got questions. Okay. And you got answers, hopefully. Okay. okay. Now, speaking of dressing down, I'm wearing painted toes, but you got sandals with socks on, Jeremiah. Yeah, I do. Okay, moving on. I bought him those, too. That's why how much I had love for him. I bought those for him. What compels a man to cover the sandal with a sock? Um, mm. Kind of to avoid looking at crunchy toes like yours over there. I'll, I'll I'll take that, mm -hmm. and I'll hear it, and I'll adjust, because my toes ain't the best part of my body. I know that. Robin, you know, my wife. My wife. <laughs> Robin says that my back is her favorite part of me, <laughs> and that's because we do a lot of, um, what's it called, toy work, where, you know, we, we just bought one of those chairs. Mm -hmm. Dental? No, not a massage or a dental chair. It's barber? Of, no, it's one of those. Well, it's a barber chair. It used to. They, it was turned from a barber chair into a sexual contraption. Lazy chair. boy. Oh, well, it's one of those. There's dildo nothing lazy about it. We're both working pretty hard. It's a mm. dildo machine thing. Boom! Steve's got it. <laughs> Guys, I want to. Oop! My neck just popped. Cool. 
<laughs> you okay, Dr. You okay, Phil? Dr. Phil, man? It seemed like it really affected you. What's going you. on over there? You're not going to Stephen Hawking on us yeah. while the car, are you? It's just hot, too. He's hot in Legit, here. that hurt. Oh, oh. wow. Is it oh, back? I think I'm all right. Do you need me okay. to stand on no, it? No, I'm fine, Jared. You can Gerald. Who? Gerald. What did he just he, call him? Jared. Oh, oh, my bad. Yeah, okay. fuck you too, yeah. Dr. Okay. Phil. Jared is who, Steve? You tell the audience. I don't know what you're talking about. Yep. Steve, what are you sucking on? Was it a lozenge or no, a I have, um, cold sore? No, I have a... Uh, Oh, that's Straight right. Copenhagen long cut. Didn't we talk about this last time? We oh. did. We did. Yeah. What do you Look, got? What do you got there? Oh, I've got uh, Ryan's whoa. least favorite toy, the uh, Tube of Terror Carolina Reaper Peanut Challenge. Yeah, he did not eat Johnny any Scoville's of those. on the front. It looks like J.K. Simmons meets uh, Randy the Savage Montana. Creators of the Death Nut Challenge. God damn, Death Nut. We did those, and he he didn't do any of those peanuts. Oh, yeah. Ryan, you didn't do one? No. Well, time to pay the piper. I mean, Dr. Ryan, Phil if we're all going to discover <laughs> something about Phil ourselves today, I would love I would love to see you step outside yourself and take a look inside and see what sort of a death nut you are. And I'm willing to bet, and I will put money on this, Ryan, if you take this down like a champ. Like, you ever see a, a kid with autism uh, in the emergency exit row of a plane asking for a diet Sprite? Can't say that I have. Well, you will, and they get pretty, uh, pretty excited. So I'd like to see how you respond to something you're, uh, you're not anticipating. Great. I'm gonna. These look like Mentos meets Tums, meets uh, the Devil's Cum. I'm uh, gonna just toss one to you. Cool. Good catch. Starting center fielder for the Oakland A's, Ryan. About to swallow. Here we oh go. My Drum we roll, go. please. Yikes, that's giving me nom flashbacks. <laughs> I played nom in Call of Duty recently. and You doing it? Holy shit. <coughs> Those are no joke. They are no Did joke. you just swallow that? Dr. With Phil, no do you think you could handle one? I, I really... I... Put your money where your mouth is. God fucking damn it. Oh. <laughs> no. I took. Well, you're all right. If he dies, I oh. don't want to do it. I would do it, Dr. You wouldn't? I Why? Wouldn't it. Dude, well, it's going to It's going to affect you. And if you have anything to do later yeah, on tonight, we don't want it you to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We I, don't want you to do it. <laughs> what if I had something very important to do later? They definitely oh, yeah, yeah, don't do it. Okay. Don't. And I know I you were on a time crunch, Dr. Phil. I know that we. We know you charge by the hour. Yeah. Okay. Thank God. Um, okay, let's, I can't believe you did that. I'll be honest. Peer pressure ain't going anywhere. We've all been in situations. Wow. Steve, give me your top peer pressure moment before I hop into these perguntas. Um, when I was younger, they peer pressured me to drink a wine cooler or beer or something. How old were you? Uh, probably like in, uh, middle school. How, what fifth, flavor was it? Uh, Strawberry Hill, uh, Boone's Strawberry Hill. <clears throat> yeah. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a wine cooler. Yeah. Wine cooler is like a roller skating party that you weren't invited to, oh, but yeah. everyone says, grab a couple of skates and join the party. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so you said, yeah, who offered it to you? The same guy uh, that- Oh, my uh, other cousin. It's not the, yeah, because your brother was molested by a guy, right? Was it that guy that gave you the wine cooler? No, that guy was um, a, a guy in Minnesota, and yeah, how did you know about that? Oh, I. Well, Bobby saw you for a yeah. bit, right? Bobby he saw. He was me. one of yeah. your patients, right? I didn't want to. Usually, there's a patient client uh, confidentiality, but yeah. I feel like. But you just told a story about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I guess I. You crossed Oops. some hippo lines, didn't you? And he didn't really molest him. He, he didn't. I want to. Yeah, I want to be no, clear he, about that. He would. Uh, he, he tried around to around the neighborhood. Kids. He had penthouse magazines, and he lived by these um, apple trees. Right. And he Oops. would spread the penthouse magazines, and he'd like he he would, he would jerk oh, so off, jerk in front off in front of, of, in front yeah, of you. Yeah. Oh. And he would jerk off. Yikes! Well, speaking of accents, we didn't ask for. <laughs> You just gave me a Down syndrome whack dude, off. Dude, we can edit that out. I'm By sorry. the way, Down edit syndrome whack off. No, 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 I'm sorry. I don't want... No, we're no, keeping no, no, that no, in. No, 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 we're playing it again and again and again. No. And again. <laughs> we're making a beat with it. We're making a beat. No, no, and no, we're no, also, no, no, no. Please, please, you don't shut do... your fucking okay, mouth. Okay, Dr. Phil. 
Steve, okay. this is what life is all about. Doing stuff we didn't know we could do and seeing how it pans out. Okay. Oh, true. That's because fine. guess what? Down Syndrome Whack Off isn't just an Atlantis Morissette cover band. It's also my new favorite catchphrase. We got we to gotta speed things up because we got to slow things down okay. off stage. Okay? On stage, you guys are doing exactly what you're supposed to be oh. doing. You're giving your fans an entertaining oh. podcast. You're doing your thing on stage. You're bringing the people together. You're making them go. Comedy doesn't have to be all full of of snakes and oh. and wrestling and, uh, and you know, take this drug, suck that But you know. Uh, you guys are just silly. Can we oh, do yeah. some scissors to clear yeah, the air? Yeah, let's do some scissors, Dr. Phil. Let's okay, you ready? Let's okay. do it. <laughs> on the count of, on the count of, uh, what's that, Gerald? On the count of one. On the count of one. Okay. One. one two, three, four, five, six, seven, <coughs> eight, nine, nine, ten. Are you doing it 11, along with us? 12, 13, 13 14, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 18. 19, 20. 20. <laughs> How many licks does it take to get the center of a Down syndrome whack off? Ask the lollipop owl. All right, first question. Steve, do you feel like Jeremiah has slowly been losing patience with you? A little bit. Jeremiah, are you upset with Steve that he didn't do the Harlan Highwood podcast with you? I was more disappointed. I wanted him there. Which is almost worse. But we could always go back. But I... But I plugged your your album at the end. Oh, it's not out though. I know. But thank you. I was on uh, Jeremiah's podcast recently. Check it out. We had a riot. Yeah, check out Harlan on Scissor Bros with me and my brother Stevie Weeby. Yeah. Um, he couldn't be here today. He's working on his album at the moment. Yeah. One day we'll have both of you guys on. Yeah, here. That'd be, would love that. Be a riot. But yeah. check out Stevie's album when it drops on his Bandcamp. Uh, he'll be. I think he's putting it out through there and so like okay, that. Okay. Yeah. But he plugged it. That's so nice of you. Yeah. I he plugged, I plugged the it. upcoming uh, feature. Yeah. Yeah. The preview, if you will. Yeah. Sometimes that's more important than the uh, the actual feature presentation. Mm -hmm. Is the sizzle of the steak. That was nice of him. Thank you. If you hear, oh yeah, there's a prime rib at the Cheesecake Factory. And it's fucking delicious. Mm -hmm. It'll make you want to, you know, squirt. Yeah. It'll make you want to squirt. Mm -hmm. And then you get there and you take a bite and you go, ain't squirt worthy. Mm -hmm. Steve, what are you not happy with about Jeremiah and the show, Scissor Bros? And are there any areas that he could improve so that you could get better? I think it's getting kind of like monotonous. It's a tough word to say. We'll put it up on the screen here. I think that I disappoint him because I'm not as, uh... Yeah, uh, speed it up. Brothers! Take a bite out of summer with HelloFresh. From chef-crafted seasonal recipes to their new fresh and fit summer menu, HelloFresh brings flavor right to your door. Pre-portion ingredients that help cut down on food waste while step-by-step -step instructions make cooking a breeze. Not a chore. Make your home the hangout place this summer with crowd-pleasing eats from a backyard broadwurst bar to tangy key lime pie. HelloFresh Market makes summer entertaining a cinch. It's a peak time for summer produce and HelloFresh makes sure you get all the best picks all season long. Their ingredients travel from the farm to your door in less than seven days where quality you can taste. Oh, and I love to taste you, sweetie. Oh, I know you do. Oh, and yeah. you know what I like to do with you? I like to cook with HelloFresh with my wife <laughs> of 35 years. And you know what, honey? We don't have to make trips to the grocery store because HelloFresh will deliver those fresh ingredients right to your door. And it saves you a lot of time because for us, you know, we get so caught up in, oh, do we want these kind of strawberries? That's do we want right. this kind of gorgonzola oil? That's right, honey. That's right. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Scissorbros50 and use code Scissorbros50 for 50% off plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash Scissorbros50 and use code Scissorbros50 for 50% off plus free shipping. HelloFresh, America's number one meal, meal kit. kit. I love you so much. I love you so much. You want to watch some Netflix? Of course. <laughs> okay, 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 dude. Yep. One foot in front of the other. Uh, well, See well, the word. What, what's the word? Say um, the word. Um, I don't know, man. I ain't a fucking. A motivating genie. is him. Great. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I'll, I'll meet you halfway there and say that. But you're, you are what you are. 
and you're, mo- you. you're motivated to the extent that you need to be. Because mm-hmm. guess what? You can go into overdrive. Mm-hmm. You might crash into that oh, apple yeah. tree yeah. and fucking, yeah, you could see that all over again. <laughs> so you did. Okay. Well, I can say it. I'm. I've got a. Oh, yeah, you got you're a touch? certified. You're certified. Doctor. What's that? You got a touch of the downs? Yeah. I don't got it, but I've I've been around it. All right. Okay. Well, don't flaunt it then. Yeah. Well, look, when you're touche, but also, I'll say this. I used to, I used to go to a grocery store, and there was a Down syndrome kid who bagged groceries. Oh, okay. And he'd drop a lot of eggs, and he'd, uh, man, he would say the n word a lot. Mm-hmm. How many keys do you got? No, I was going to. I guess he's a janitor. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Yeah, holy shit. No, because I have, I'm going to put take the nicot- uh, the tobacco out of my mouth. Well, which one is it? Just took it out. Also, do you have a hall pass? I'm trying to get out of third period. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Dad. Jesus Christ. Okay, you, you're good. Can you, you let me into the gymnasium so I can <laughs> finger the principal again? Sorry, man. Can you let Go me ahead, in through guys. the air sorry, duct so sorry. I can steal the plans for <laughs> the high school prom? Can you can you let me into the fucking theater school so I can try out for Danny Zuko and get cast in the ensemble? I don't know. All right, can you so, let me into the swimming pool so I can secretly practice and become the best male swimmer yep. in the tri-state area? There it is. Steve, do you feel that you're doing enough for Jeremiah? Because he doesn't. No, I added that last part. <laughs> Steve, do you, do you feel like you're doing enough for Jeremiah? And follow up, Jeremiah, what do you consider enough with a well, capital Well, The thing boom. is, to play devil's advocate, I understand where he's coming from, from, but I sometimes I can't even get out. I haven't been able to even get out of bed, Dr. Phil. Well, I've been there. Yeah. So I. How do you do it? Depression. Now, how do you get out of bed? I need a Red Bull. I got like Red Bulls in the fridge, and I, I need. Like I, a system? Yeah, I have a system. Yeah, it's sometimes we've all been there. Yeah. It's, you know, life is, it's heavy as fuck, man. Mm-hmm. Some days I just want to, I honestly just want to turn on like The Office or Desperate Housewives, mm-hmm. open the window, think about jumping, stay in bed, you know, drool on the pillow, maybe uh, bring my dog in, you know, pet him mm-hmm. or her, you know, mm-hmm. you know, she's still trying to figure it out. Mm-hmm. And maybe just go, maybe I'll shower with my clothes on because I don't give a fuck. And I'm tired of going by the man standards. The government don't own me. I'm paying taxes. I'm getting waxes. And I've got a collection of axes that I'm selling on drfield.com backslash ax. Wait, is that why you you oh. took this podcast was just to plug your merch? Yeah. No, but it's a subsidiary. Are you here the, to help you're us? Kinda, you're kind of pissing me off yeah, a little bit, to be honest. Are you here to help us or to plug your shit? Oh, I don't know, Steve. Uh, it's funny that a non-gay guy would ask me a question about plugging. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the program. Are you eating life like it's a box of chocolates and you're shitting on the toilet and you're watching Friends on repeat and you feel like you can't get out of bed? Well, this is a show for you. That's what you f- sound like, you bitch. Uh, let's talk about my wife. See if she's a real person or not. I bet not. <laughs> Which Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle are you? Or let's talk about Captain Planet or more references that the Asian guy has no idea what I'm talking about. I paint my toes as a fashion choice, not because I I definitely want people to look at it and, and, and I, I cry asleep alone at night in my closet. The closet which Steve lives in. I do. I do and he does. I do and he does and I, man, I don't have a good reason for the way I'm behaving. I feel like a Sheryl Crow song every time I try to wash my sins off with zest soap. You can buy your own Dr. Phil zest soap at phil.com. I have a tough time lacking who I am. I'm sorry. Yeah, take that out. I don't, no, no, no. no Keep it on. It's, no, it's becoming it. more and more. It's, it's offensive, man. He did, we didn't to who? It. What, because to I, you. I grew out my mustache on purpose to mock you? Is that what you did? Yeah, maybe oh, I did. you did. Well, flattery comes in all uh, different shapes and sizes. And, you know, look, are you dressed like a, a Cub Scout uh, leader that beats the kids? Yeah. Do I mind it? No, I wasn't in the Cub Scouts. I dressed up like a girl like Jonathan Brandis did in Ladies Bugs and joined the Girl Scouts for them cookies. And no, not that, for the fucking cinnamon twist. What are they called? The Thin Mints? Oh. Every Girl Scout cookie sounds oddly sexual. Sure does. You look good. 
And you look good. You look like the assistant manager at a men's warehouse who's on break at an Orange Julius at noon. Fun fact, I worked at both. <laughs> you want to know what the best Julius is? Yeah, the one with the egg in it. The one nope. with, with the one with the noses? Nope. We'll be right back. Nope, we'll keep it right here. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. The best Julius is Irving, Dr. J. Philadelphia oh. 76ers, power forward. Count it. And one, as the kids say. Have you ever pulled out? Yes. And said and one? Oh. Can't say I have. All right. Do you guys want to play a game? Yeah. I appreciate the uh, I appreciate the gesture, and I also get what you're doing. This what Jeremiah is doing right now is trying to diffuse his rage by taking the stage. Mm. And we've done this a lot in our own lives, where you go, "I'm feeling fucking pressured. I'm feeling, I got palpitations. I've got situations, and I've got complications in my life, and I don't know how to address them. So I'm gonna mask them, literally, with a fucking." Uh, I think that's a condom uh, from the zoo. Yeah, one what's of my that? Used ones. Yeah, Ger uh, Gerald's recognizes it. There was a hippopotamus in Kentucky that butt fucked a black guy because he jumped into the cage. Don't quote me on this. I just I heard it from a friend, and they said that the hippopotamus used some sort of rubber, um, you know, condom. Uh, yeah, and uh, it looks like that is what I'm trying to say. Mm. But your voice so now, is now. What's it like to live with this on your head at all times? Dr. I'll be Dr. honest, not great. Mm. I'm not a hat guy. I'm not a beanie guy. Um, you know, will I pay to see OMC live? Yeah. Will I sing along to How Bizarre and that's about it? You know it because I don't know what their other songs are. How bizarre! How bizarre! Oh, look at this. See, the more voices you do, Steve, say it with me. The more, the more problems. The more voices you do, you the do. more problems you, you have. Yeah, the more problems you have. Jeremiah, I think that we need to get to the bottom of, of what you're looking at that's bubbling up this red zone activity. And I'm going to show you and Steve a series of images. I'm sorry, Dr. Phil. You're fine. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, it's all good, baby. It's all good, baby. It's all good. It's all good, baby. It's all good. It's all good when I look at you. It's all good. I'm going to show you a series of images. <laughs> and I want you guys to... I need to use the rest. Okay. Are you feeling oh, yeah. it? How are you feeling? I mean, the spice is fine. My stomach. Oh, fuck. Are you serious? It, it hurts really bad. You guys go ahead. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Like, are you going to throw up or poop? I don't know. He's going to puke and shit bit, right now. And I think, you know, the devil's bit. coming for him. Yeah. And that's sometimes you got to pay the piper. Yep. But I think I'm just feeling what he's Less going through right now. Yeah. That's yeah. my way of tapping in and tapping out at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Well, hopefully he comes back. So you said you had some. Yeah. What some, are those? Yeah, so I got some images. Well, okay. I made some drawings. Oh, okay. I took a cartooning class in 1996. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and because of that, I've, I developed the skill set to illustrate uh -huh. and I want you guys to illustrate your thoughts uh -huh. based on these images tell me what you see and don't see okay. I'd rather you focus on what you do see and what you don't see or Gary Busey you can you know put in a text and send me uh, later but okay. just I'm gonna hold up an image and I want you to describe what you see okay you take turns or at the same time no you're going yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry wow again I did the eyes <laughs> I didn't mean to. God, it's like in my DNA to do a Korean guy oh, every time wow. you talk. I forgive you, but man. Well, now, riddle me this. How is my impression? Oh, yeah. Oh, if it's that, then I, I, yeah. I, I don't like me. Please don't. <laughs> okay. Yeah. First image up. Uh, oh, so this is this is like a, this is kind of a form of therapy. This is like inkblot. You learned how to inkblot? That's what it's called. You know, can yeah. I? Can ink I, blot. Ink blot. Can I tell you my first impression? That's what we. That's what the game is. Okay, Steve. so it looks like two females, 
looking at each other. Okay. And you could see their breasts and their butts and their yep. they kind of look like uh like kind of like spider females. Cool. Yeah. Jeremiah, what do you see? I see uh kidneys um and then I see um the belly button uh is kind of like a butterfly and then those are like the arms. So it's almost like an an x-ray of a kidney. Oh, you're both wrong. This is actually Eric Griffin doing pottery with a blind child that he met on eBay. But close, both of you guys. So, so you got the boobies wait, and the butt so, part yeah. right. So, no, okay, no. so I was, I wait, won that one. Yeah, you were half yeah. right. Okay, so, half so right. there's a point system here. Where okay, go? can you explain what this challenge is? So, well, yeah, every challenge proving? comes with consequences, and every consequence comes with satisfaction. I think this challenge is going to create... This is the challenge? Can I fucking okay. finish? Sorry, sorry. Hey, wait, hey, Jesus Christ, it gets more racist every time I do it. That's on me, Steve. Because I see what I want to do, and then I do the opposite. Okay. Who's done that? Everyone. Because you're a fucking human being. This challenge is going to create something inside you guys that you didn't know you could rock and roll with. And I'm talking about timing, fearlessness... An intention. Mm -hmm. What is your intention? What do you want out of this? There's a point system. For every, if you, whoever's closest basically will get the point. Mm -hmm. oh. So Steve was closest on that one. Okay. Mm -hmm. He gets the point. You okay. said it looked like a couple of kidney beans? Yeah. Oh. And then the winner. Yeah, what's the. Well, the, I've come up with a prize, but you, you tell me what you think it should be because it's your show. Well, I think it should be, you know, maybe because we've both been little on edge lately oh yeah that the the loser takes out the winner to some to do something relaxing whether it's korean spa oh yeah the spa maybe. i've been to the korean spa yeah, with your brother bobby go. i actually would love to go we get all naked together i did it i went with your brother bobby he, you took the korean his, one they had i think on western avenue they had his head shot up and bobby walks in it was very funny he goes uh he goes watch watch watch, watch, watch. they're gonna, not gonna annoy him and he points uh to his head shot and uh and he goes Hey guys, happy to be back here again. And uh, I come here all the time. And he goes, look, on the wall. And it was his Mad TV headshot. And the guy behind the counter, I'm not going to do the accent. I've done enough damage no, today. No, you can, you can. Okay. And he was like, hey, hey. and Bobby was like, that's me right there. That's me. And the guy turns around and goes, oh, and didn't know that it was Bobby. And Bobby goes, they don't fucking know who I am here. And Bobby was very famous at the time. I think he just done The Dictator or, um, yeah. Or something, or Harold and Kumar, Harold and Kumar. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Bobby and I took our pants off. We uh, a lot of naked Asians. You seen him naked, Bobby? Yeah. Well, you know, I've been to his live comedy shows. I've seen his dick more than I've seen my own. What do you think? You know, good. <laughs> that's your review. Oh, no, that's it. <laughs> well, if I'm filling out like a Scantron, yeah, yeah. fair, good, fair, okay, good. Right. wonderful, needs work, needs yeah. work. <laughs> well, hey. <laughs> I was okay, about to okay. take it easy there. Go man. ahead. Talk well, about someone's penis there. Oh man, I had okay. a great joke okay. that I wish I could say. You could, you go could ahead, totally Dr. say Phil. it. You could totally uh, say well, it. We'll bleep it if we have to. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Doctor Phil. <laughs> the moment has passed. You know what? I'll find another moment. Okay. Okay. Because I had a good like. You know, sometimes you're like, I'm gonna. There's a person in my life right now I despise. So I'm gonna use their name when a joke opportunity uh, presents itself. I want to say that name. It might we might come back to it. Okay, you okay. know what? We'll take that, rewind it back, and mm -hmm. you know, make sure that little John has a beat to make that booty go. Yeah. Ooh, that sounded just like a booty. <laughs> you know, I'm directing a porn. Uh, for yeah, it's uh, OnlyFans. Uh, has a uh, an offbeat brand like Off Broadway site called um, <laughs> Little Little Tits, I think, or no, Big. Big, big flappers? Big flappers. No uh, tie to flappers, yeah. the comedy club. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. But um, anyway, they were looking for a, a make that booty go clap sound uh -huh. guy. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. One more time. So here, let me give you a scene. And All right, so ding dong. Oh, it's the pizza guy. I can't wait. I hope you brought the steak too. Uh, sorry, I'm, we're just a pizza place. If you want steak bites, you got to go to like an Applebee's. Well, now that you're here, why don't you fuck my butt? Jesus Christ, this film escalated quickly. Okay, well, do you mind if I just clap my butt real fast for you to show you what I'm working with? 
Sorry, I had a fart first. This is the weirdest <laughs> porn ever. <laughs> and scene. Can we get another suggestion from the audience? Oh. Worst improv troupe ever. <sighs> okay. All right, this next image, you guys, uh, is this one's a. Th now this one, man, this one I've been I've been waiting to show all day. To be quite honest. Mm. I'll give oh. you. I'll give you each uh, one guess. Oh yeah. Guys, what do you see? Uh, that's um, a, a diamond uh, on the top and a, a crab holding up a diamond. What kind of diamond? I don't know. Just a typical. I don't know the different types. Zirconia. Zirconian. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're just. You're. Your voice is fun to imitate. I know. That's fine. No, it's great. It's yeah. a compliment. Um, so that's my guess. Now, what well, crab? Because there's, look, there's regular I don't know. crab. I don't there's know Sebastian the different types. The little mermaid. I guess the little, little I mermaid yeah, crab. Yeah, just up your a typical crab diamond. on the beach. Great. I, I don't know. I don't know the types of crabs. You yeah. got it. Yeah. Well, sand crab. Great. Okay. Probably yeah. the most popular. Show me sand crab. <laughs> mm -hmm. Jeremiah, any thoughts? Yeah, I think it's a burlesque dancer. Doing she, what? she has the bustier right here, like at the very bottom, and she is like poking her head out behind the the curtains, and her face is a bat. Hmm. No, this is actually uh, Andrew Santino going down on Bert Kreischer. Did he take the foley load? Oh, he took <laughs> <laughs> double points for Jeremiah. Oh. Our next image comes all the way I ask for viewer submissions as well okay. scissor bro submissions image number three Jeremiah you take this one first since you're in the lead yeah and well um, actually it's tight well it's two to one right now it's actually uh it's it's my reflection what I what I look at when there's two mirrors uh opposing me from side to side do you see it Steve it's an insect it's my profile on both uh. sides it's an insectoid reptilian kind of alien creature's face with the antennas. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, no, this is actually Bobby Lee and Steve Lee fighting over a, a string cheese at a Best Buy. <laughs> you okay, Dr. Phil? <coughs> I yeah. think it's monkey pox or AIDS. Okay. okay. All right, we got two more images. Oh, maybe more. Ink okay. blots. What's up? How about they guess my jizz <laughs> blots after this? You're getting you're getting filthier as the show Fuck transpires. Yes. So who's in the lead right now? Yeah, two to one, Jeremiah. I'm up. Yeah, you got double points for that last yeah. one. Okay. This is another viewer submitted image from Ryan Svelzer from Tacoma, Washington. Okay. Who goes first? I don't fucking care, Steve. Okay, so those are two wood elves. Looking at each other in a purgatory realm. Jeremiah, a bottom half of a boot print found at a murder scene. Well, I can't believe this. Steve nailed it on the head. It's two wood elves in purgatory looking at each other in the realm. Or whatever the, or whatever the fuck you just said. Bingo. What's his name Oh, All right, this one gets a little... Now, this one... I'll be honest, I was a little, uh, I'd just eaten two fentanyl brownies before I did this one. Oh. Oh, that, that's an easy one. Go ahead. Go ahead, Jeremiah. It's two to two. I think this is Sub-Zero's mask. From Mortal Kombat. Mm-hmm. Good game. Mm-hmm. Was that your favorite character? One of them, for sure. Sub-Zero was... Raiden was also one of my favorites. Raiden was the... Lightning God. Right. Was Chun Li a Street Fighter or a Mortal Kombat? Yes, That's Street, Street Fighter. Fighter. That's right. She was hot. Yeah. Can I be honest? I've been with uh I was I've been with a black woman. I've been with a white woman. Mm hmm I've been with like an off white woman, you know, not albino, but just she had like a pigmentation. I yeah. think it was eczema. Yeah. And uh but I've never I've never been with a with a Chun Li. I, don't know, I thought we were sharing about ourselves. Okay. Oh, I mean, I <laughs> yeah. I didn't know if you were going anywhere with yeah. that. I, no, other, I'm just saying. Steve, I and, okay. Steve and I have both been with Asian women, so. Yeah. Let me put this down for a second and shift gears. What's it like? Doctor Phil, 
That's so inappropriate, man. Oh, okay. Me, I didn't do I need my to cut to the game the tape thing. of you jerking off under an apple tree? Yeah, like but fucking that Corky really... from Laugh Goes On? <laughs> you do you have footage of that? Yeah. Let's go to the tape. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? All right, so Jeremiah said it's Sub Zero's mask. Sub Zero's mask. Zero's mask. And Steve, that's what do you a think? giant taking a shit. A giant taking a shit. Yeah. Yeah, upon first glance, it might look like that. It's actually the cast of Darkwing Duck filling out a crossword puzzle on a subway. But hey, you got to throw darts. Okay. Who's winning now? Two to two still. Okay. Oh, this one's, this one might be my favorite. Take your time, but, you know, hurry up. Right, um, right. Uh, I think this is just... Um, I think this is a mother bird trying to feed its two kids. Feed them what? Like a granola bar or, like, piss? Uh, worm? A worm, yeah. Yeah. You know, normal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. I don't think birds <laughs> feed each other granola bars or piss, Dr. Phil. Well, they don't tell you how to raise your kids. We, no, birds don't tell me how to raise my you kids. You talk to birds, Jeremiah? Well, I could because they think I'm a bird sometimes when I walk by them. That's fucked up. For real? Yeah. Because why? You got like big wings? Well, my wingspan and my nose. Man, you get a lot of nose hate, huh? Yeah, he does. I'll tell you this much. Yeah. I think it's one of your best attributes. Mm. See? Also, there's bigger noses. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just like for me, I go, oh, there's bigger cocks. Anytime Eric Griffin has told me I have a big nose, I'm like, bro, look in the mirror. Bro, <laughs> when you look like a Chuck E. Cheese character. Oh, dude, take it easy there, Dr. <laughs> Phil. You should not Come be on. throwing blows. Wow. Oh, he's, he's chastising your face? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, I, I, th I think every time I walk by Eric Griffin, I collect $200 and I invest in... Uh, Baltic Avenue. Oh. He looks like the Monopoly man's Dude. grandfather. Take it Keep easy. Keep it in. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is I'm that... going to take it easy. I'm going to take it easy on both. The two people that went out of their way to make your 100th episode weird as fuck. And I'm down for weird. I've always said this. We did a whole season. Yeah, we did a whole segment on well, it. Well, we did a whole segment on the last yeah. one. I'm saying on the Dr. Phil show, we did a whole season of weird as fuck people. Yeah. Those creatures of the night, those ladies of the day. Where you go to a Walmart and you hear someone just have a panic attack because, you know, you know they, they wrap themselves up in a paper towel whirlwind and, mm -hmm. you know, they swallowed an apple pie and they were just trying to buy some bubble gum and a Razor scooter. Rick Glassman and Eric Griffin, if you put them in a blender, you know what you'd get? Hold that thought. We'll be right back. Now, before the break, I threw the biggest conundrum I've ever thrown on the Scissor Bro Show. What do you get if you put Eric Griffin and and uh, the other one's name? He looks like an attorney uh, for, for Zelda. That's right, Rick Glassman. <laughs> looks like Zelda's attorney. <laughs> That's funny. That's good. As I got to here, I go, get it here and we'll be good. <laughs> huh? All right. We got two more images. Well, I didn't say the last, my, what my answer was. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, hurry the fuck up. Yeah, that's a... Uh, Was this it? It's an alien spacecraft. Great. Jeremiah? Oh, okay. uh, yeah. You're both right. Yeah. Okay. Alien spacecraft. It's, yeah. It's three to three. Okay. Okay, now this one might get a little racist. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Oh, that's... Uh, something out of Blair Witch... The Blair Witch Project. Close. What is it at a Blair Witch Project? Be specific. Specificity like is Like a wi witch's sigil that you'd find in the forest. Well, don't make shit up. No, nah, that was What's like, a witch's sigil? A sigil, something like so symbolic. You're trying to, to say a witch's witch schedule. Yeah, like a nine to five. Like a sigil, like a sigil. Just say schedule, Steve. Sigil, S-I-G-I-L. I'm going to punch you in your fucking nose <laughs> and turn you into Jeremiah. Oh. oh my Oof, God. all right, that was aggressive. <laughs> Wow. My bad. My bad. Look, I told you I'm intermittent fasting. Okay. I've had cream cheese and ice in the last six hours. Okay. Uh, I think it's Dr. Phil's wife blowing me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, dude. You said the freaking nose thing, and I, I'm telling you, I'm testy lately. Oh, we're going to take a break. 
No, no, no. no we're we, not. Let's oh, okay. it right here. <laughs> emotions, sorry, emotions feed <sighs> on reality, and reality feeds, feeds on emotions. testosterone. testosterone. That's exactly what this is, Jeremiah. And he wins. No, he's up four three. We got okay. one more. This can either tie Steve. You can tie it. Yeah. Or Jeremiah can uh, can book an appointment for you two and maybe a plus one me. Yes. For the Korean spa. Yes. Um, but it's going to be on you. Yes, I will do it. No problem. Great. Okay. Image, final image on on today's special episode. And again, thanks for having me. And I know things got a little dicey yeah, and a no. little tricky, but I think thanks we, for coming. in the end, I think we, we got something out of today. Yeah, we did. And this image is, um, look, it's, it's not only my favorite, but it's the one that allows us to be able to tell the most about ourselves, mm -hmm. which is what we're all looking for, a reason to get up. Four to three, Jeremiah. Final image. <laughs> huh? It's a penis. It's a penis, dude. dude. It's a penis. A dude penis it's a or a penis, penis dude? A toy penis? No. It's a Is it a toy penis or a real penis, Steve? And that's not the first time I've asked that today. It's a micro penis with a lot of girth. Could be. What is it? Could also be Do we that, have to name whose penis it is? Do you remember on Mario Brothers 3 where you had to like <laughs> match up the the toad stool or Mario or the you know like when the, the two images go by? I know exactly what you're talking about. The trading of the different slide game. It's like the mini games inside Super yeah. Mario Bros. three. Yeah. I think the music was like <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what do you think it is? I think it's Toad from oh, shit. Mario Bros. Penis. Oh, oh, because look shit. at the mushroom tip of the You're penis. Right. Look at the mushroom tip, Steve. Or yeah. it's Bobby's penis. I'm not sure which one it is. Ooh. You're both wrong. It's Jada Pinkett Smith working uh, at a uh, sleep mattress store. And as she's showing one of the new higher up corporate guys one of the new mattresses she lets out a, a fart but she goes sorry that was a queef and gets fired on the spot that's it so so i don't so who won well it's four to three jeremiah but i'd like to do one tiebreaker okay you have a question or something as yeah i do i'm thinking i'm thinking of a of a famous I'm thinking of a famous I'm thinking of a what number am I thinking of four three Jeremiah got it guys thanks for watching today's episode was brought to you by um, well they'll they'll tell you who uh, helped fund today's episode but goddamn I had a good time I pulled my uh, my pant legs up but I opened my heart up more than I had before I don't know if you saw about 22 minutes ago I got pretty misty eyed <sighs> Uh, Thank you, you, Dr. Dr. Phil. Phil, I feel like that we didn't, we didn't work on ourselves too much, so we might have to have you back again. Because, yeah. because I, I feel like well, I presented that I have an anger issue, and then we didn't really get to the bottom of it. We didn't, and that's on me. But it's also on you, because I think sometimes you get lost in translation, and you get uh, heavy into menstruation. And by that, I mean when guys are hanging out, shooting the shit, shooting the breeze, you know, time flies when you're having fun. And fun flies when it's all good. It's all good, baby. It's all good, baby. It's all good. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you on the streets. Scissor Brothers! Um, hello? Is anyone still there? It's your pal, Gerald, and... Now, uh, this is what I'm talking about for a fucking episode today. Wow, wow. Dr. Phil really brought his big old swinging D over to the show, you know? It was fun. I mean, he's been my, my silent partner on a lot of my 
expeditions to South America and Eastern Europe, and, well, now you guys know a little bit more of the stories. Make sure you check out an exclusive episode that drops on on Tuesday on Jeremiah Wonders. That's Tad and Katie. I think it's Dr. Phil's, like, niece or some shit. Anywho, it'll be a lot of fun. And make sure you look out for Steve's album, which is dropping very soon on his band camp. Hope you guys are well, and uh, hope you're digging the Patreon. We love you guys. Bye! It's all good, baby. It's all good. It's all good, baby. It's all good.